Hey y'all, how's everyone doing? Well, you can see from the title that I am going to do an unboxing and rather than be one of those people who talks about it for 10 minutes and you're going, I just want to see it. It's an unboxing of a hammock. I got this from my, if I'm panting, it's not because I'm that excited. It's because I just ran up the stairs, but I am that excited. Um, I got it from the LA store. This is a, a style that I have waited for two months to get because they have been out of it and I have been contacting my um, my essay for the full two, two and a half months. So it's the Daniel Large Black with Brushed Gold Hardware and Red Zipper. So here it is. First of all, I would like to show you the outside presentation, which is one of the classiest boxes I've ever seen. By the way, I blame my boss, who is a girly girl, who got me into this brand, and it's all her fault. So anyway, here's the box. It is such a hard box, but it's beautiful. Um, it's got this beautiful red on the side. Do you see that? And in gold, the name stamped on the top. This is a box to keep for sure. Uh, not that I would resell it, just for the pleasure of it, because I doubt I'll resell this. This is going to be an everyday bag. Um, but it's, um, oh, so this is hinged. Oh, wow. Y'all, look at this. This is made for a YouTube video. Look, it goes the big reveal. Can y'all see that on the tissue paper over here in the, the bottom corner? Can y'all see that? I'm trying to sit back and see if you can see it right here. The big reveal. Here it is. It's just one big piece. I think I'll keep that. Who knows what all I could use that for. Okay, so here is the bag. The dust bag. And in the bottom, gosh, it's huge. It obviously has a catalog. And my essay uh, in L.A. His name is Angel Vargas. And you guys, he's been absolutely wonderful. So is everyone that I've dealt with there. And I have bugged the stew out of them, like, on a weekly basis. Did you get it in? Did you get it in? Because I've wanted this so bad. And the last time they came in, they sold out before they could get it to people again. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I missed it again. So I was like, I don't want to miss this time. He did a wonderful job. So, again, that's from the L.A. Flag flagship store. So this is, like, a really pretty dust bag. Again, it's stamped with the gold. And I'm trying to think... It's just regular, almost like a muslin leather. I mean, um, <laughs> so, oh, listen to it. Listen to the hardware. First of all, first of all, let me just tell you, the bag is gorgeous. I wish we had smell of vision so bad because I always say that when I would do my cooking ones because it smelled so good, but this smells, this leather smells like if you were ever a little girl and you walked into the shoe store and it smelled like red goose shoes is all I can tell you and you would get a little golden egg that you could put pennies in. It started out having candies and little trinkets in it and then you could fill it back up with pennies. And that was my piggy, piggy bank. It was a red goose golden egg bank. And that's what it smells like. A whole bunch of really good leather shoes, only it's a leather purse. Oh my gosh, the reason this is going to be an everyday bag is so that wherever I go, I can pet it. This is the softest, most supple, even more than my coach, because I know you're thinking, you just got a coach. I did, but I didn't know this was coming in, and as soon as they said, we're putting your name on the list, as soon as they come in, you know, at the end of March, at the beginning of April, at mid-April, at the end of April, I have every, I've been in such contact with them, I know I've driven them crazy. But this is why. Oh my gosh, I have to tell my boss this, and she, I'll send her this video. It was worth the wait. It's worth the money. I will just tell you they're $575, and you're probably going, that is a lot of stinking money. It is. But this is a bag that is very unique, very high-quality leather. I love the hardware, this brushed gold. On this side, it has this cool link. It's on both sides? Yeah. I bet that's for the uh, shoulder strap. The straps are not rolled. They're flat. Y'all know normally I like a rolled handle. So this will be interesting. Instead of that paper that they usually use, they have used actual white Velcro. Isn't that nice? And I do not want to tear this up because this is very nice. And I'll use this again for something for my cords, <laughs> computer cords. 
Okay, so on the back side, that's the front. It's got the um, tacks on the front, either side. Imprint is tone on tone, black. says Hammett, L.A., Los Angeles. That's their flagship store. On this side, it's got a pocket. I have to have a pocket for my cell phone that I can get to easily, and they've put in there, so this will come off. Um, the tag. Again, it was $575. It's called the Daniel Large Black um, Brushed Gold, which is BG, and then RZ, which is Red Zipper. Why does that matter? That is a signature item to get with the red. Not all of their black purses, like the gunmetal one does not have it, and I think, I can't think of whichever ones do have it, but it's usually only black, and it's in this bag, it has not been available for a very long time. The red zipper was the big part of what I wanted. That is their signature, and I wanted it. And so I have waited and waited and waited and waited. Um, also, the Hammett um, zip pulls, again, this is very good, well-made zippers, and the zip pulls, as you can see, are also, uh, this isn't cheap. This is a very heavy, real, um, probably brass. I need to look up what this is, all this hardware is actually made of. It's obviously not real gold. Of course, we will save the stuffing, and y'all know what I do for bags like this that are made to flop, okay? So you, you're going to either love the flop or get an organizer. I will put my um, Clover Sack organizer in it, but a small one, because I do want a little bit of flop to it. But... What I'll do is I will, when I'm not using it, which will be a very long time for now, <laughs> I'll switch up back and forth from other bags. But because I do have a lot of bags, I know that, and I enjoy all of them, but this is going to be an everyday bag for a very long time. Because um, black goes with everything, for one thing. But I fill the bag up with its original stuffing. So I will not throw the stuffing out. I'll take it, put it in there, and when it goes back into what I have is a glass china cabinet. I have three of them around the room. <clears throat> and I put them in there so that they don't get dusty, but I can see them. I used to have them in their bags on shelves in my closet, and you couldn't see them. So it's like, which one's that? And then I started tagging them, and it's like, I just need to put them out somewhere. But when you have two dogs in a big house, I don't say a big house. We have a, a, a reasonable size house with a lot of little rooms. Maybe it's just the dogs. Maybe it's because I don't dust enough, but they would get dusty. So I had to put them inside china cabinets. Um, here is the buckle. And that is what that is for, those two pieces. Um, I said the buckle, the strap, because I'm looking at the buckles. Very, very nice. Again, this beautiful, nice little touch to have these little Velcros instead of just the paper things that you tear off. Reusable. Let's just go ahead and put it on. So I'm going to put that on right there if you want to. Also, just so you know, if I'd wanted to, I also could. Does that undo? You could undo it, but I just... It's a regular clip, so I just did that. And I'll leave it where they have it at for now, and then I'll try it on in size and see if I need to adjust it. So we're going to clip that on, just a regular clip. And then inside, I know y'all want to see that. It's red with the red zipper, and it's red, and it also has a black card case. And the reason I do like that is because I really only use one card to make purchases. I'm going to put this down in the zipper because whatever I get with the bag, I always put, which is... You know, that's its its care card. Maybe it's an authenticity card. On this, I'll be honest, I do not even know if there's a serial number and if it is where it is. So I'll have to find that out. If any of you know, please comment below. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take the, when I cut the tag off, it'll go in there. The zipper pull also is one of those really nice hammet. It's a big, thick little 3D um, rectangle. So this is where I will put my debit card because I'm constantly pulling it out and my, my um, phone out. Um, and then also there's two phone pockets or whatever kind of pockets. Actually three here. Three in a row. I usually put my lip gloss, a pen, and um, my car keys. So I could keep my car keys in this outer zip. Like, I mean outer place there. And put my cell phone in here. But as you can see, and I, I do want to show you, this is a very slouchy bag. It will absolutely collapse. Watch. Okay? Some of you may not like that. That's why I have a bag organizer, and I want the supple t suppleness of this leather. That is why I bought it. So some bags, um, I love the fact that it is such a duffel that it will literally collapse on the weight of all that metal. Now, as far as weight, is it heavy? Not really. 
I mean, it's got a little weight to it because of all this hardware. Okay. On my arm, I'll stand up so you can see how it's going to fit on a short person because I don't care. Some people may say that's too big a bag for you. I don't care. It's going to be fine. And because it's a little longer between here, even when you got a little bit of fatty on the arm like I do, it fits just fine that way. And I can just let the shoulder strap dangle down. Um, or I can let that dangle down and do this. It can also be a crossbody, which is great because when you need your hands, the fact that it's crossbody is great. And I just want to rub it. I'll be looking like I'm rubbing my belly all the time, won't I? Y'all, this is such a wonderful grade leather. I'm in love with it. I'm not even mad at my boss for getting me interested in these. It is wholly her fault because she's telling me about the quality of these. Um, and I just got enamored with this particular style, and I'm glad I did because they're, I have the matching wallet. If y'all remember, that was my step of faith in that direction that I was going to eventually get this bag, so I wanted to go ahead and at least purchase the wallet. So I have the wallet to go in it, and I do have a Clever Sack um, organizer that's the medium size that I will likely use for this. I do have it, my stuff in my coach in a small size because it fits better because as big as the coach is like this, the bottom of it's tight enough that the medium won't fit down in it good but it definitely would in this and I think it would help to um, kind of um, you know if I put that hard piece in the bottom it would help structure this bag a little bit but I don't want it too structured the whole point that I bought it for like this is because it is duffel bag so what do y'all think do you like it and would you avoided that long for a bag you love <laughs> anyway that's it for bags for a while y'all and I love you and I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and I'll talk to you again soon I'll let you look at the bag instead of me because it's so pretty. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!